Hello guys, it's Sean Thompson here, welcome back to another video, it's pitch black, you can't see anything, it's 4am, we're at the yard, we're about to load up a horse box, and head down the road. The question is, will she start, oh there's water in the fuel filter, let's clear that out first, hey! Jesus, and the parking here needs clean. Right, here she goes. Machine, didn't doubt it for a second. Obviously, I've not been driving it. Uh, one of the other boys has been driving it. Uh, doing a load of work for me and stuff. While I've been kind of on half maternity leave, half just spending time with my son. All right, so Keithy dropped a load of last night. That's his lorry there. Let's go ahead and just hit into this trail. Well, hopefully not hit into it, but... Nice and gentle hack. And as always, two tugs forward. Alright, we've got her. I'm not gonna lie though, the guy that's on this has been a bit of a fanny. You can tell it's not me driving. First off, I'm assuming this is probably paperwork, I probably shouldn't look at that. Second off, the fuck is that? Diet Coke? Oh f sorry, Keith. <laughs> oh shit, I'll go pick it up. I think it's safe to say that Keith was worried about losing box here. There is one, two, three, four ratchet straps <laughs> just in that one section. Anyways, we'll give it a thorough walk round. Obviously, I've not used this loader in, well, since uh, Truck Fest Scotland, which was a while back now. I don't know what the highs are for. Hays for horses. Alright, everything seems to be okay. I've still not fixed the other light, which is a pain in the bum. Downside is it is lovely and dry under here and we could load under here. The horse box I'm delivering doesn't have any steering. Alright, let's get this here horse box loaded up in the comments real quick. Will it start? Oh, there's a wee daff over there as well. <laughs> oh shit. I've not looked at it in daylight yet since I've done the paint job. Shite myself. Alright, will it start? Thought as much. Right. There we go, just needed a wee 24 volt boost. So I've been informed by Keith that it's getting brakes, which is handy. Um, so I suppose we'll just take it up, see what happens. Boy, she's getting knee brakes. Oh, none whatsoever, by the way. Holy shit. <laughs> no brakes! Oh, air brake. Oh, that, I didn't like that. That was shite. That was pish. It's on. Yeah, it's gone. Oh, I haven't waited for this long. It's just, it's six o'clock in the morning now. It's just taking me a while just to load that up, strap it down, and eh. Uh, you know something? For me doing that, that isn't half bad, by the way. For me doing that, I mean, just don't look up close. But for me painting that, aye, that'll do. Obviously, I'm gonna need to cut that whole entire bit out because that video's not out yet, but you will see that soon. Ha ha ha. Cheers, boys. Ha. All oh, right, boys, we're off. Newcastle, here we come. She's all strapped, ready to go. Drive level not selected. Ha ha ha. I'm not new to this, you are. Right. Let's go. Oh, die boys. So far, it's been a quite a nice wee drive down here into sunny England. Uh, we're going to stop for diesel soon. We're on 72 litres, uh, which will get us to the offload, but won't really get us anywhere else after that. So let's go get some diesel. We'll just stop in at Todd Hills up here. Ah, uh, good, eh? Uh. Oh, here we go boys, the 66, it's been a while since I've been on this road here. Hopefully it's going to get some good views today as well, because it is a nice day, isn't it? It's nice clear skies-ish. Yeah. Alright, so we have pretty much made it here. We came down a wee single track road that wasn't too bad. The downside is, the sat nav stops here. The guy said the postcode will take me right to it. So I think it's just that farm there. Um, I've just phoned ahead and confirmed, because that way... There's weight restrictions. I don't fancy getting stuck today. Uh, that was a fairly easy delivery. All 
Right, so that's all offloaded. We've done it uphill, so brakes was not an issue. Um, steering was a bit of a pain, but we got it offloaded nonetheless. Now that we're heading a wee two hours down the road to pick up a road sweeper and a wood chipper from two separate points and fire up the road. Hopefully we'll get both reloaded today. The race is on, as per usual. All right, here we are coming at the Tibshell Services. Time for a wee break. Then we'll go pick up a sweeper and a wood crusher, I think it is. Looks like one. And then, uh, aye. Which way do the HGVs go? This way, Sean. This way where the HGVs are. Oh. Nope. Kill! Ah, all right. M6 toll, here we come. Aye, good. Oh, boys, I'm not having a good day today, eh? Just crashed into the back of a BMW. I'm really not having a good day. I just crashed into that car, man. Oh, shit, the bed. Oh, I just... Oh, no. I need to go home, man. So, it was three lanes into one. Three lanes merged. And, eh... Uh, aye. Driving along, slow moving traffic, two to three miles an hour max. I'm what looking at the other side of the road, watching the cars and the lorries drive by all nice and fast, and we're sitting at one, two miles an hour. Next thing I know, <laughs> I'm in the back of a BMW. I'm a wee bit annoyed though. Surely my Volvo's to get the emergency brake on with that shit. But uh, aye, anyways, my fault. First time I've ever crashed into a car though, which is a uh, good, a good. Uh, a good number, if you imagine, I've, I've driven lorries six years and that's the first time I've ever crashed into a, a car or anything for that matter I've, uh, I've taken wing mirrors off uh, with the removal lorries uh, but that was mostly reversing and shit and I've had cars go into me but other than that, I've, I've had quite a clean record until today so that's us pretty much doing this job for free Alright, that's us just picked up the sweeper There she's there, big six tonner one chain pulling back, two pulling forward, it should be good. I was just looking at something there when we parked up. Obviously, here's where I hurt the BMW. No damage to me, luckily, even though it was my fault. Uh, apart from a wee bit of cutting the rubber. But see there? Tell me that doesn't look like a reverse camera and the bottom end of a BMW badge. <laughs> Jesus. Bad thing happened. Uh, bad things happened to three boys. I've just took a curb too tight and I've ripped my tyre. Luckily though, that was before the offload, eh, before the reload, so I've reloaded the wood sh uh, chipper there in at Oakley Farms, cracking bunch of guys. Um, and it turns out uh, we get water buffalo over here, uh, which was a good a good part of the day. Um, aye, uh, it's, it's not been a great day, not a great first day back. The downside is bad things happen in freeze and so far I'm at two. <sighs> I just need a Stella, man. I mean, aha, alcohol free! Alright, that's us parked up for the night. I'll show you the tyre in just a minute, but I've had a shit day and there's only one thing that'll make that better. Uh, I parked up here, I've got ready meals for MS. Um, check your deliver to me. I've put my address as lay by on A500 red and blue truck with Reggie Play. I good. <laughs> I've put my exact location. I've pre tipped the driver three quid. Let's see what happens. Oh. Staff will pay. <laughs> oh yes boys! So far order has been accepted. <laughs> order details lay by on A500. <laughs> Shit, this is A500, isn't it? Aye. <laughs> oh, that man! And women, I suppose. Fucking <laughs> yes! Oh, I've had a shit day, but it's just got a whole lot better there. I cannot believe that. Delivered on the A500, man. Come on. This is the best day ever. <laughs> Sesame Chang, I mean, the portion sizes don't feel as big as, as normal. Especially when it comes to the, the extra chips here. They just... I don't... I, I don't know. Oh, I, I know I've had a terrible day and I've done things that um, I'm going to get slagged for but I've made it better for myself I'm not going to lie, that is exactly what I needed Anyways, uh, quick sleep, we'll get up about 4 or 5 in the morning 
start it all again. I'm just gonna quickly brush my teeth. And uh, hi, first night out in a lorry in about a month, oh, and I'm off. Jeez, eh, peeps, man, I've not even had any alcohol. Because drinking in the lorry is bad. Uh, I should probably stop for some diesel, actually. Aye, no, that'd be a good show, I think. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention to it. That'd be the next thing. Fucking running out of fuel. Aye, good. Aye. I'll not show you that. Oh, that's a fair old cut. Can't wait to get that back home and get it fixed. Uh, good. Alright, here we are in sunny Glasgow. We're having to do a wee bit of a jump back on ourselves uh, to come down here to Barhead to tip this uh, timber trailer off, chipper, in Barhead. Then we have to go wee uh, 20 minutes back on ourselves uh, to drop off a sweeper. So it's a bit annoying, but it is what it is. The time I waste, like, I can't even rearrange it. See, because there's a trailer, it's not like I can take off. The place is going to probably isn't gonna have something that can take a trailer off and then put back on it'll be fine it's only 20 minutes it's probably not even that it's probably 20 minutes max uh, so it's just, it's just that's what it is but aye we better jump in about glasgow we'll get these tipped and then uh, we'll fire home we've got lots booking in for next week which is good and uh, aye we'll just uh just build her back up and uh just try and get ourselves busy again i think it is a wee bit quieter now with the step framework um i'm in the wrong lane haha <laughs> sorry I know how to drive in Glasgow. Oh no, I'm going down the wrong lane. I just took it like a fanny. Anyways. Right, we're here and it just looks like a wee can shop. <laughs> it doesn't look like I've got any machines for taking this chipper off. That's why you should never judge a book by its covers. Covers, cover, yeah. Because the boy had a JCB telehandler and it was a piss easy offload. Right, that's that sweeper tip. And I tell you something, man, this is a pain in the arse of the street. Right, it's nice and open here, but see, down there, man, that was hellish. Anyways, that's all offload it. Let's head home. We're about 47 minutes, 31 miles per aim, and then that's us done for this week. Short week. Cause I'm going to Spain tomorrow, I keep on! Oh, Alright, that is us, it is pissing the rain But we have made it home to sunny Dundonald But I apologise about the wind noise um, We're just going to quickly stay out the wind here Going to quickly fix the trailer to tomorrow We've got that like to do and we've also got obviously the tyre to change uh, The spare tyre is sitting in the yard where we'll get that sorted But anyways, thank you all for watching Don't forget to rate, comment, subscribe And you should be seeing that very soon. Buzzing.